They're there doing there a was, heist there was, movie. There was one TV about there was, stealing there was, cops. <laughs> yeah, about stealing cop stories. <laughs> I want to see the movie. That's, uh, that's wasn't that the? I'm an old man, seventy years old. Yeah. I waited for fifty <laughs> years yes. to see the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's like that Star Wars movie about the guy who has cancer and wants to watch Star Wars episode <laughs> Breaks one. Breaks into Skywalker yeah, Ranch. And, yes. and it's gonna be your episode exactly. one where you wait forever, and then at the end you're like. Eh. Well, a Christmas yeah, movie. Well, yeah. would have gone with wasn't, Easter. Wasn't <laughs> wasn't worth the cancer. <laughs> This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a special episode of FFP. My name is Paul and this is special episode number four recorded on the 10th of July 2018. And we have him here after a year of correspondence yeah. and talking a lot to each other and meeting for one time. He's finally here. The co-creator of Brutto Filmlands Produkt. It is Harry List. But what do you mean co-creator? I am the creator. You, uh, I am the creator. Am. <laughs> like I am the co-creator of FFP. Yeah. You are the co-creator of Proto Filmlands Produkt. No, it, it, this was uh, uh, actually intended to be a Walter White impression. I am the one who knocks. I am uh, the because I just saw the episode two days ago. I, wh which one? The, 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 I'm, the I'm the one, one who, who knocks. knocks. Ah, yeah. Okay, that specific yeah, episode. But okay, I'm not good in, in doing voices or anything like that. So. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. Not a comedian. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Yes, but but somebody with a totally different set of skills that will help us in this very special episode. Because this is basically a State of the Union address. <laughs> well, not an address. Yes, not More. an address. But we both are doing Austria-centric movie podcasting, movie and TV podcasting. Yes. I, I think we're, yes, the, explain what we're the only what ones who do exclusively Austrian con Austrian content. Movie yes, content. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it already started. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> the puns have started. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the listeners have to know. I actually came to speak about a movie, and I I have yeah, coming here. On, I regret it picking that movie because there's so there's so a lot of opportunities for you to do bad sexual puns and i so dreaded it but i'm very very uh happy that we don't do that yeah i mean it's called banana joe yeah so <laughs> it is the name itself is a big penis pun yes of course so or there's, play on words there's a lot of uh, phallic symbolism in the whole thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Tell us about your podcast because probably not a lot of my listeners are gonna listen to your stuff because mine's in English, but I still have a lot of Austrians and Germans listening in. So okay, yeah. So it's called address those guys. Yeah, yeah. Of Everybody course. else, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's called Brutto Filmlands Produkt, and it's um, great pun. Yeah, I've worked a really long time on that, and it's well, it's I have uh, two uh, co-hosts when, and we always do one-on-one -on -one dialogue uh, talking about a current movie that's right now in cinema or a TV show that's running right now. But at the moment, we're doing classics, the summer of classics, I call it, because nice. there's no new film in the cinema, in cinema in Austria, no, no new Austrian film. They always group together in September and October and Yeah, yeah, for, that, for that very important yeah. window where, where, where all the prizes yeah. are, are so there's, out and stuff there's like that. There's one hint in it how uninspired the Austrian film scene is and the that there distribution. Is actually, that there's actually an, a literal gap. <laughs> yes. I mean, there is no summer blockbuster available, so there's that. I mean... No Austrian, I mean, no Austrian blockbuster. Yeah, that's true. And they have uh, some... Sometimes the ORF sends uh, broadcasting some old TV shows in the summer. Uh -huh. They do it right now, like Cotton. They just ah, finished yes. with all Cotton episodes. And yeah, now because the, there was the 30-year end of the Cotton series or something, something like, like that. Something like that, yes. 1988, is that yeah, right? Who cares? 86, 88, something like that. Yeah, Yeah, that's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's dialogue and we talk about more on the... We talk the about... The technical aspect. No, not, the, not, not about... Not. Te because we... we 
started uh, Hannes and I who who restarted it because because I did it before it had a different name and so, yeah and when he moved to Vienna he uh, I had a room available so he became my roommate and at the first evening he said well let's do the podcast again mm -hmm. and then we restarted the podcast and he was the one who brought me back into podcasting and ah. uh, and and I I have I had given up uh, he was your of, motivator sort of yeah and uh, we did and he he was uh, uh, he's a he's a screenwriter and he's a he's, he's right now he's writing a TV show a German TV show that's that's the reason he moved away and he is no longer my co-host but we already had recruited a, a a new one Birgit and she's great all of us we have our interests in storytelling and uh, mm -hmm. more of the dramaturg aspect and yeah. not the technical side and my second thing is the business side i studied film production as a, as a business and uh, that's my my thing i always con uh, i always are sort of the antagonist questioning why did this get funding, funding. what happened <laughs> this with made? my yeah. tax money yeah. and why do we fund this what's the uh what's impetus what's the impetus yeah oh, what's yeah. what's why, the why big did, reason behind yeah. it i mean there has to be a societal reason to for create stuff yeah to to fund this and why do we fund film and not orphanages or something else something yeah that's equally not maybe not equally maybe more useful yes but, but we we fund film why do we do that and that's my ongoing my my driving question i mean the official goal is to keep the austrian film and TV scene alive, but we know that that is a lie. So, so my, my question to that is all, my question is always: When you wake up tomorrow and there would be no Austrian film scene, what would you miss? And nobody can answer me that. Nobody. Right, okay, if it if it would go missing right now, I would be totally fine with it because right now there's nothing that is so good and so unique that that i would actively miss it like exactly like a mundel back in the day or a cotton mittel or a piefke saga or something that is so out of the ordinary that it really counts as something artistic and stand alone and and something worthy of of conservation that's when film yes. funding does it right but right now there's nothing that really tickles my bone. I mean, you actually torture yourself by watching that fucking <laughs> horse series. How is that horse show? For the international listeners, we now have horse drama. Yeah. About it, a I, rich family that has horses. I don't know. <laughs> a a Trakena blood, right? And Gestüt Hochstetten in Germany. Yes. Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, it was, it was, that, that was my most successful that was, that was our most successful episode it was the, <laughs> the only episode no really <clears throat> it was our by far our most successful Why? episode and it was the only episode I wasn't part of because Birgit and Alice <laughs> oh, did that's that that was, insult. Yeah. Oh, Jesus totally Christ. devastating oh, oh fuck that, yeah that's that's bad that's bad yeah <laughs> no but seriously is it any good yeah it's pretty good i mean <laughs> there's always con I mean, context it, is king right is, is it like good like vorstadt weiber is good a kind of good copy of desperate housewives or like uh, yeah. is it is it i would challenge that assessment but no it's a very uh, how, how to say it it's a very it's not it's not very unique right it's, yeah uh, it, it hits all the right elements all the right spot all the right plays on the uh, uh every uh, trope you can you can you can think of but he does it very well mm -hmm. it's very and it's a very expansive uh tv show yeah, funded by red it, bull and, yeah. and something like that wait yes <laughs> okay red bull is it's not even bulls it's horses uh, yeah but the the dietrich matschitz the red bull owner is a is a breeder of trakeners <sighs> fuck no he's actually a breeder uh, okay so right. i think i don't know if it, i don't know if that were his horses <laughs> but he is a breeder. They have a Red Bull branding on the, on the, on the, <laughs> the, the Red Bull logo. Yeah, the red, <laughs> just the wings on the on the. the you no, know, the two bulls going head to head from the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From the, right from the sports from yeah. the sports club uh, stuff and yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, all right, he he's yes. a breeder. He's a fan of of horses and okay. of this yes. breed. Yeah, but particular. again, it doesn't have any artistic like value in the sense of that in thirty years people will make studies about it, like they did about. Yeah, but is that is that always the goal? 
Should that always be? No, the no, no, I think no, no. It's, it's but, entertainment, but, but and you, it's you, great. Yeah, that's, it's good entertainment. It's yes, maybe even great that's entertainment. That's fine. That's that's okay. But if you are the ORF, if you are, if you have the contract to educate the people too, but that's it's not an ORF show. No, it's a Servus TV show by Red Bull. Oh, I thought it was okay. Mm, ah. There's there's a difference. Okay, fair enough. Okay, yes. if it's if it's if it's private TV, it's then totally it's totally private. There then it's has fine. been a little bit of funding, but that's one but not the funding that like other shows for no, the OS get. It's not ninety percent ninety percent publicly funded. Okay, no, it's good. Just five to ten percent or something. Okay, that actually calms me a little bit <laughs> because in my mind I was always like. My fucking tax dollars, tax euros are paying even a small smidgen of that <laughs> fucking horse show. I was already mad with the Vorstadt Weber because that one was... Or, by the way, that's on Netflix with an English title card? Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. but without English subtitles. So there has to, if there's an English title card, it has to be in syndication Women somewhere. Women on the edge. Yeah, yes. it sh that, then there has to be syndication somewhere where... English is spoken. Otherwise, they wouldn't produce well, an English I title think, card. I think they have an intern at Netflix who does title cards. <laughs> <laughs> and just and just I, I one very I, sad I, guy I, in an office <laughs> putting together the, the title. The title it, probably came from from the producers, uh, but I and I I think I, I mean you have to you have to see that Netflix has different formats of title cards oh yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. i think when you when you sell something to netflix they ask you to deliver a certain set of cards ah, I, I really think they okay. do that or they produce it themselves i mean because they want to show it in yeah they uh, have dynamic title cards now yes. where, you, where where an algorithm figures out which title card it yeah. should show you that's a new thing where it's, yeah, i heard yeah. it i don't believe it yes it uh. with me it actually i saw the switch most of my shows now show me women or side characters instead of the main guys. That was the big switch for me. Instead of showing the main character, and that's probably because a lot of Netflix shows that I watch are shows where the ma main character is not that good, but a side character is so good that it makes worth watching the whole show. It's probably not unique to you. It's probably true for all viewers that they like that character especially and they wanna mm. uh, maybe netflix i mean a lot of people watch okay fair enough. no yes. yeah it's probably true for because there's a lot of oscar winners who have been great side, uh, char side characters and have a f uh i mean there's, a, there's, there's even an oscar for basically the sidekick oscar like supporting actor and actress yeah that's that's the sidekick actor well sidekick yeah sidekick is one uh i think the support no that's a the, trope that's a trope i, I think the supporting the is very very important because when you when you look on classical storytelling hero's journey etc then there's always one or two characters that have they have to be there the in, yeah. in the hero's journey it's the mentor right so the mentor character mm. is a supporting character because he is actually supporting helping the hero achieving his goal and he enters the hero's life and he leaves the hero's life before he uh, faces his final challenge like gandalf for yeah. example yeah he comes into life of frodo and then he he leaves uh and at the end yeah at the end or um and that was oh, and mid through and <laughs> midway through <laughs> just to show up again. well that's that's a that's a side but he, quest but i mean he's he had one free respawn still but left, that's the so. classical mentor figure right i mean yeah. you could argue that he has given frodo nothing he told him nothing he, <laughs> he had the eagles <laughs> once something the eagle the, yeah. the, the postmate service that they have in <laughs> the uber express no, but it, uh, it's another okay this is a very classical but you can also look at the Django Unchained. Everybody yeah. said, "Wow, well, Christoph Waltz, he's the main actor. No, no, he's, 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 he's not the style character, he's but character. he's 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 a mentor. He's the, he's the, yes. he's a classical mentor in that movie. He has a lot of screen time. Yes, and that's why people who are because uneducated he eats in film scenery. He, yeah, and he he, he's everything. a dominant actor, but yeah. he but he's not he's not only not the title character, but the title character does not have to be the hero, right? Uh, but he is a he is a classical mentor. He enters the life. He he takes him out of his slavery, his 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 known yeah. world. He brings him. He he teaches him. Then he 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 goes with him on a quest. 
and then, then he, he leaves. Sacrifices. He leaves. He's yeah. sort of sacrificed. Well, it, that was stupid. That's oh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, no, it was so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but uh, understandable, honestly, in that moment, just from an angry man kind of. Yeah, proud, on. proud man, not yeah. angry, a, a proud and uh, dis disgusted with slavery and yeah. the concept. Yeah, and then who a German who's disgusted yeah. by, <laughs> by something interesting? <laughs> <laughs> We loving the shit upon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to circle back to Austrian film. Yeah. And to my podcast, um, that is something we wanted to educate on because there's a lot of people who say, well, I don't understand why he's a supporting actor and he gets the Oscar for supporting actor. Yeah. No, right. we, we explain it to you. What is what is the hero's journey? What is the what is the the, the what, struggle? The, 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 what's the what's the story arc? What's the plot points? We, we actually had a, a few episodes where Hannes, who is a real expert, um, we we just went through words, right? Uh -huh. Just sort of a vocabulary of, of of screenwriting terms. Everybody, and not even not even very complicated, just the most basics. And we yeah. use them again and again. And we want to educate on Austrian films about because watching a movie is more than just I don't know entertainment. It is art. Yeah. And even the the most stupid, publicly funded whatever trash movie is sort of art and is has a historical context it has a, or historical in the time it is produced yeah we it's all, a time uh, capsule uh, yeah, of its time sort of yeah. and it's that's also something I, that's why i always say context is king right the yeah. movie exists in a, spe in a special context and being funded is just one context mm. and then i ask questions and there's often not another context and that's my 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 quest is to look for the meaning of funding and why <laughs> films get funded and uh, why, why others why do don't. Some get special treatment and some don't. Yeah, yeah. special treatment. I don't know it's yeah. special treatment. There's, there is a limited amount of money. and Obviously, obviously. yes, obviously. And but it it is still <clears throat> very undemocratic. For being in a democratic <laughs> country, it's a very undemocratic process because it's even if, like, if it would go after viewerships, then... I don't know. We would have three hmm. Hinterholz 8 by now, you know? I mean, there is a funding that rewards viewership. Yeah. There is a little bit of that. So I think you should shift the budget from the sort of artistic funding towards or the reward funding. Or vitamin B funding. funding that yeah. also ha happens. Well, it is a fairly transparent process, but... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's be real here, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's not. It's not un. Well, undemocratic. Yes, we have I mean, voted still, on it. Yeah. Yes, okay. It's sort of undemocratic in that sense, but it's fairly transparent. It has fairly understandable rules, mm. and it's a, it's it's a working system. Is it perfect? No, of course not. Yeah. Would I change it? Yes, immediately. But it is working. It's somehow. a working system, yeah. and. Of course, there's always an industry. And if you ask the question again, what would happen if tomorrow it ceases to exist? Well, of course, there would be people unemployed. Uh, yeah, not I, a bad chunk of people. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not that big a part of the of the gross domestic product. gross domestic product. Yeah. <laughs> the, the gr or my my podcast would be called gross filmistic product. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that in English, I think. Um, no, it's it's. I think it's a percent. 3% of a percent from the budget. Oh, the, the Austrian budget. Yeah, the, yeah. the film funding. Yeah. Um, so that's, so that's nothing. That's, that's a, a bracket of nothing. Yeah. That's a bracket of nothing. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the whole culture budget is, I think, 3% and from that. Ooh, it's yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I went through the whole funding process when I did Cabaret because yeah. they, the state still doesn't recognize stand-up comedy. So there's no funding for it. But for Cabaret, there is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's... But the, you still get it like... Four months later, like they say, how much do you need? Like three months before you do the gig, you're like, they're like, how many people will come? How much? How much do you want? Like what? What's happening? You know? But it's not and that then, reasonable to ask. No, no, that's fine. And I'll happily provide the information. That's fine. And then, then you get the the go ahead. Like a few weeks normally before the event, they say yes, you have secured funding. And then you get the funding three or four months after the gig has happened. Yeah. While from a legal standpoint, they have to pay you like in a week or two. Like that's well, what the law says, but they don't have the money on hand. Is there a, a law? I mean, there is a film funding law. I know that. But is there a uh, 
comedy funding no law? it's not comedy funding it's it's uh, 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 performing arts in general and, okay. and cabaret and kleinkunst oh there's a there's a there's a has its own subsection set of law all yeah right. all right didn't ha, know ha, that ha, had its has its own subject subsection i mean of course uh, that, i know the film funding law the, by the, heart that yeah. that's from from uh the time the nazis uh killed all those <laughs> cabaret artists oh. and then the new government was like oh we kind of have to say sorry somehow no, here's, a, here's, a, here's a reason to fund yeah because it doesn't exist and you want to rebuild that's a that's a reason to fund yeah but you have to ask the question right now we had i don't know 60 70 years of rebuilding yeah. rebuilding the comedy scene yeah so shouldn't we pull out the funding and, no no we shouldn't use we it should. for something else we shouldn't we shouldn't there's not a lack of comedians or no no that's not it it's more uh, a lack of new stand-up comedians and uh, yeah, cabaret we, we we have we have still the, the same 20 guys we had in the 80s basically yeah the only two the only three guys that came in that are big are josef harder than dwarfer and Düringer. Those are the three ones that in the 90s popped up. But that's it. Everybody else is older. No, or I, I or not know. that famous. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know a lot about the scene. I mean, Gary Seidel is doing well. No, no. That's not, he's there a there fairly people, new one. There are enough people that started with me all that right. are now really famous. But not on a level where they're like, where the, the ORF is like, hey, let's make a movie. Let's see what's happening. But you know? like with Harder, they didn't know that he was a really good actor. <laughs> like they, they, they rolled the dice at the beginning with him, with uh, the with. Uh, Indian, yeah, but is every which we also should, covered should, should on this every, podcast. Should every comedian get his own movie? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying those are the three guys that yeah. got movies, and after that, there's nobody who got a movie since then. And those guys got their movies in the '90s, you know? Yeah, probably. Yeah, there's no, there's no. <laughs> I mean. Josef Harder is probably the There's only no Clemens th Maria Schreiner movie, you know? Yeah, whoever. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one of the biggest cabaret artists yeah, right now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm very, very niche out of oriented. Touch, out of touch. Yeah. Niche oriented, not yeah. out of touch. I, uh, I haven't bought or listened to new music for 10 years, something like that. Jesus, like, okay. Totally fine with mm -hmm. all the 90s. I mean, you hear, no, you hear all that music in those nifty movies you watch. Yeah, the <laughs> piano. <laughs> the, the Austrian the music, Aust which is which is either very weird electronica. Not even that. It would be nice for some electronic music. In the, not, in the 2000s. That's always the 2000s. only a piano. <laughs> No, there, there is only a Except piano. Except when the pianist, which was weird. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if actually the... I haven't watched the pianist yet. Yeah, of course he was playing piano a lot, <laughs> but that was not an Austrian movie. Uh, no, oh, sorry, the piano teacher. Ah, the piano teacher. All right. The, totally different movie. I, I, totally different so movie. Adrian Brody winning an Oscar. <laughs> Roman Nazis, Polanski. Yeah, Nazis. Uh, Austrian film. <laughs> yeah. No, the piano teacher. I have no recollection whatsoever. I do not recall, and I I always don't try to, to forget <laughs> Hanukkah movies as fast as possible. Really, there's some Hanukkahs I really really enjoyed. I have an I have an expression I fairly often use, and mostly in connection with Hanukkah movies. I would rather drill a hole in my knee with a rusty drill. Yeah. Mm. That's you, what you, I rather. You want, you want some? You want to get some infection before that infe Hanukkah infection uh, no, spreads? No, I, I think the pain would be more enjoyable than really watching another Hanukkah movie. Which why is, is that? What, what, what is what, what is tingling your, your <laughs> hate nerve so much? No, it, it's boring. It's pretentious. Okay. It's the same guys over and over again. It's the same thing over and over again. Okay. I, I mean, I have watched six or seven of his movies, mm -hmm. and I. I have watched Happy End for the podcast. I loved Happy End things. Why? Happy End. What what was Oh no, what sorry, was... sorry if I'm thinking about a totally different movie. Sorry. Right. Yeah. There's and there's <laughs> sometimes, right? There is a a, a one shot in in Code Arconu which was a, I think a television production but never nevertheless yeah. sort of good movie. And there was a, a long shot and I came to know a little bit about the production process because one of the producers was one of my teachers, uh, in, uh, okay. and so he told a lot about how it is and a lot of a lot of stories. And I, I don't remember all of them, but it gave me some clearer picture. And he is a lunatic. I mean, mm -hmm. not a lunatic in his crazy. He knows exactly what he does, but it's not my 
I don't want to meet the guy. It's not your kind of lunacy. No, you see, you see w- how he is. I think, and he's not. I think I don't think he's a violent guy or yeah. or a, or a, or a pervert even. But he's a sort of his fantasy and his he's a artistic weirdo. his artistic interest is not compatible with mine at all. Right? Okay. And here's the no, no, here's that's the, fair enough. That's, I don't I don't know the man. Yeah. So maybe I have only secondhand information I've, from his movies yeah. and from from my teacher who was his, his producer. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't want to know the man. And I don't, I don't want to. I, I, every time I see an interview, and I, I, I give him a second, a third, and twentieth chance, mm. um, watching an interview, and it's always very professorial. Of course, he is a professor. I have secondhand stories from his students. He is unforgiving. He only likes the evil and bad and and pretentious. And the problem is, he has, and that's my main uh, reason for hate. He has influenced generations. Yeah. He has taught generations, yeah. and you see that. Mm-hmm. You see the Hanekin, Hanekinization of Austrian movies. <laughs> it's it's apparent. It's apparent, yeah. and it's well, it's bad, and it's I don't like it, and I don't want to fund it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I think I think we talked enough about funding now. Yes. Yeah. We 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 have said. Don't trigger me again. Yeah. Yeah. No. But one other thing we wanted to. And we already touched on it a little bit with Netflix is uh, streaming services because we have a shit ton of streaming services now for the size that Austria is. We have we have eight million people. No, close to nine now. Yeah. We have close to nine million people, and I think we have the same amount of streaming jo- services as Germany does. I think. Well, yes. If you if you discount the, all the uh, public TV stations that all have their own media tech, media media yes. services. I mean, we have the we have the big ones. Yeah. Obviously. And of course, and and some of them we, we can we can also yeah. watch. Um, I started with Netflix fairly early because I and I still pay my my money to American Netflix mm-hmm. because yeah. I, I bought a, a virtual a virtual credit card. Ah, and so because okay. they they wouldn't take my Austrian credit card, and I paid <laughs> I paid them uh, so through the virtual sometimes. credit card and watched through uh, VPN. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and then I just hopped countries. So yeah, I just uh, that was great because I could watch the I don't know Danish uh, shows catalog, and stuff left. catalog, yeah. and then I switched to the Australian catalog and the other yeah. countries Swedish catalog and whatever they had. Yeah, and there were some websites where you could could look up where what is available. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. great. That was a short, what, I don't know a year, and then it started here, and then I still never went into the Austrian Netflix because. I, I was so used to it's the other. It's very lackluster. Ah, that was that was, and then they they. My girlfriend is mad because she's Mexican and she has the Mexican Netflix, and it has like ten times more content than yeah. we do. And it's not even the Mexican stuff; it's just American stuff in general, and then just weird productions from other countries. Yes, yeah, that's and I mean, I think the Netflix catalog of Austria right now is okay, and they have. I think it's worth the money. Oh, definitely. It's worth it's, it's, it's 10 bucks a month. Just, That's just okay. the Netflix, just the stuff that Netflix produces on their own is worth the money, I think. Yes. Like the comedy specials are amazing for the most part. For the most part. There, there are some, of course, there that's some, your expertise. I, I, there are some turds in there. there are some I, 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 watch, in there, I watch a few of them from time to time. I've, I've watched the only thing I really thought was funny and I really laughed was the Assis Sansari. That one was good. That was, yeah, that was good. Yeah, and then there, Dave Chappelle was Bill Burr. Oh, has... well, he, I I love Dave Chappelle uh, yeah. on his show uh, when he did all these great characters, but he has gotten so old and so redundant. That was that was horrible. So that's I, I, my, I still the like two him. that that I have I remember. Uh, Bill Burr, I just the thing saw is, him. The thing is, I knew Dave Chappelle uh, through the show first, of course. Yes. But then immediately found his stand-up stuff. So I'm way more on board with the Dave Chappelle comedy special than right. you are probably. I know that his act is different, way different to th- what he does on his sh- uh, right. on his on his show. Did on his show. Yeah. yeah well, of course, there are characters. And also, stories also, and there's of- like five years of cocaine abuse in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He did, he break, did right? so many drugs. With the Dave Chappelle show, he had a he had a break, right? Uh, he, oh, he a had a big break. Break. Yeah, 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 yeah. He <laughs> took he <laughs> took he took a really big break from yeah. from powdering his nose. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise his nose no, would I have. No, I think it was a big get off. for Netflix. While well, they advertise it as a big get, 
that he was doing his comeback on Netflix. Somewhere. He's th- but he was probably also- was unemployable anywhere else. Well, no, 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 no. They they oh. paid him a shit ton of money. They paid him, I think, eight figures. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Th- for an hour? <laughs> no, no. That's for four specials. Four specials. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's, yeah, yeah. For the next, like, that's always how Netflix does it with with the big comedians. Now, it's not that they they buy one special outright and then they have the rights for the next few. All right. Yeah. J- just makes- so they make secure that that drip feed of specials. Because even if somebody of those comedians is taking a two-year break, yes, the other okay. ones will come through, and then you can still put out a really big special every two or three months. That's smart management, unlike ORF does. <laughs> Where when a show gets cut, they are like, oh no, what are we going to do now? Like, no, really, mitten im there's, achten. There's, mitten im achten. No, okay, that was, that was a train wreck. A, a special, travesty. <laughs> yeah, a no, special. But kind. How much a, money does that cost My again? favorite show, yeah. my favorite show, Cop Stories right yes please and they have four seasons and a finishing movie they have broadcast season one and two twice and season three and four and the movie who is they are finished they are on tape ready to be broadcast season three will be broadcast for the first time now on august 14th will start oh the movie in a month the movie is a Christmas movie, so they have a limited time window to where they to broadcast it. Mm. If they miss it, they have to wait another year. But I wouldn't go. I would really. You hope that it's gonna be released. No, I I, re- I wouldn't. Uh, to I wouldn't put it past them to send it midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that they just. It's, um, it's it's uh, Christmas in July, but but, <laughs> but the, the they they have it in in the archive all that stuff. They, they, they already that's, finished that's three, finished three years ago. Yeah, they fin- the movie they finished in in December December. Yeah. So that's all right. Okay, that's okay. It's one year later is acceptable. It's not okay, but acceptable. And uh, the 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 uh, but, uh, but season three is four years now. Jesus Christ! And that's not the, that's not the first time they yeah. did that. They, they say, ah, oh, we don't have slots, and oh, there's we can't bump soccer, the Simpsons. and then there's yeah. a then there's a World Cup year and the Olympic year, and they blow all the budget on sports, and they, uh, I mean, they have to pay the the producers when they air. They have to pay the last tranche. Ah, of, okay, so they, they they still have like so they're saving money right now. Right, they're, they're not, not saving. They they reallocating their budget in the next year or something uh, like that. Fuck you! Yeah, that's, that's stupid. But that's that's how it happens. I mean, there's they. But that makes that's that makes that makes them reality. materially automatically dated. Yes. But by, by, by having it just lay in the archive for years, I mean they didn't they didn't wait around with uh, uh, Herr Karl. They they just <laughs> released that movie. Yeah. You know. I mean sometimes short, sometimes short they, they know they have produced they have produced crap. They know that, and yeah. then they are sort of ashamed, but they cannot. They cannot keep it in the archive on Forever. broadcast. They, that's not possible because I will personally break in and get it out of my, <laughs> my money. Uh, no, there, You're doing there, a was, heist there was movie there was one TV about there stealing was, cops there was, yeah, about stealing cop stories. <laughs> I want to see the movie. That's, uh, that's wasn't that a, I'm an old man, seventy years old. Yeah. I waited for fifty <laughs> years yes. to see the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. like that's like that uh, that the Star Star Wars movie about the guy who has cancer and wants to watch Star Wars episode uh, breaks one. Breaks into Skywalker yeah, range. And, yes. and it's gonna be your episode exactly. one where you wait forever and then at the end you're like. Eh. <laughs> well, a Christmas yeah. movie. Well, yeah. would have gone with wasn't, Easter. Wasn't wasn't worth the cancer. <laughs> Well, there has been another show, Die Steintaler. Have you ever heard of that? No. It's a it's written by the same guys who or the same guy and directed by the same guy, uh, who did Vorstadtweiber. Okay. Uh, Uli Bre, and it's a uh, well, it's new sort of. And Steintaler, it is a it is a Stone Age show. There's a Stone Age nice. tribe. There's a Stone Age tribe going. Wait, that has already been released. It's, it's yeah, it's 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 fairly old. Well, t- two thousand. 10 or something like that. Oh, okay. okay. And, and it's, been a while. it's everybody is a. There's all Austrian television stars in that. Mm-hmm. And there's a tribe of hunters and gatherers who, who, who try to survive in the forest. And then they meet a village of settlers, first settlers, whatever. So then there's two tribal. Uh, Con- yeah, this. And it's a. It's a. 
it's a hilarious comedy and there's some really good wordplay in it, but it's crap. <laughs> and it's I don't know why. I mean it this I have now sentimental feelings towards it, but at the time and this was It's just plain bad. They have also kept that on on archive for 40 years, 5 years, I don't know, maybe even longer. Wow. And then they 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 broadcasted it somewhere in the middle of the night. They were really <laughs> ashamed really of ashamed of it. <laughs> and I think it's it's on Flimit who is uh which is one of the Austrian the, streaming services. The, the Austrian streaming service, where there's all the, and I really think that's worth my money because that's mm. there's I don't know it's seven euros a month, and there's a lot of Austrian content. And yes. I think it would be that's for fair. you and for me. We are sort of heavy users. Please make a drug joke <laughs> uh, uh, of of Austrian content. But I'm not the heroin <laughs> you deserve, but the heroin <laughs> you need. <laughs> Um, heroin sorry uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great platform but it's so it's so done un- it's so unprofessionally done uh-huh yeah I'm, and when we talk about the professionalism of netflix yeah. i mean flimit is a I'm, disaster when if, I, you, well, if you think about it it's, I, I there was a there, okay there, in the otterkringer brewery three years ago there was a, a meet meeting of like media companies right. and companies that were doing internet presence stuff so there was like Billa was there and they're like yeah this is our new online shop and RF was there yeah we have a new prototype of a redesigned T4 take but it doesn't work because <laughs> it's a prototype <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then there was Filmit, uh, Flimit and I talked to the, the people that are representatives and they were really nice and they were like yeah we have all thousands of movies that you normally have to buy from Hansel for an absurd absurd yeah. upmark and yeah you can watch a lot of stuff here and it's really great and i'm like oh that sounds awesome how's your subtitle situation <laughs> and they're like uh, mostly we don't have any i'm like okay cool in what codec are you streaming uh i don't know i'm like do you have surround sound and he's like no just stereo i'm yeah. like holy fuck what is this but the Hansel, 2006 the Hansel scans don't have surround sound either so most of the time there are some Hansels out there that have 5.1 but it's rare as fuck is, is yeah. it Hansel is a special company uh, uh, please don't <laughs> no, please no, don't trigger no, no. me it's a it's a special company <laughs> yeah, like that <laughs> because like that. it's retarded <laughs> No, they, it's they one really... of the few monopolies we have in Austria, true monopolies, and it's state funded basically. Because not only does ORF print all their stuff through them, but all cabaret artists have to yeah, do they, it. They have a and all of the their standard when they had their standard it, DVD edition stuff that was also yes. all Hansel. Like how crazy is that? That's. And they and because that's basic economics because they are in monopoly they have acid yeah Th- that that's happening yeah. they they don't have good skins they don't have languages they don't have extras whatever they, they're just a film on DVD yeah and you pay the same ten bucks you pay for most uh, most uh, of Blu-ray the ta- with all of that from Star yeah. War, uh, of Star Wars or something like that most of the time the Hansel edition mm. has fewer extras than the foreign import. Yeah. editions of Austrian movies. What? Like, they sometimes have DVD commentary of the director, or apparently Hansel still produced that stuff, or just didn't yeah. integrate it into their DVDs. I mean, the the only one who is really doing good DVDs, I think, is the Filmladen distribution, they are which right. also yes. owns the Votiv Kino. Yeah, and they, they, are they right. Well, that's okay quality, and of course, they uh, release their own movies, so they they can do that, and they have a limited. And it's up on a way smaller scale. Yeah, of course, and uh, it's but it, there's they don't overextend themselves with extras. Or something like that. I know that's yeah. expensive, and they, you don't earn money, and you of of course money is tight for cinemas and distribution, uh, of course. But um, well, they don't half ass it with paper. Uh, the inlays, the 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 the, the, the covers, the covers. The covers. I don't know. The, 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 the Hansel disc, covers. The disc won't hold in yeah. that oh, plastic, the, the, whatever. The Hansel covers are one of the most garbage DVD covers you can find on and this planet. And they're taller. Yes, they're, when when they're, I had a, a, a thousand tall. DVDs, I was pissed at them yeah. that they're taller and won't fit in it's, my perfectly built DVD yeah. cupboard or whatever. Ah, yeah, I don't have any DVDs anymore, but I. So relate to the Hansel producers. Get your shit together. Yeah, first of all, get your shit together. <laughs> and second of all, suck a fat big bag of dicks. 
because man you're a pair of winners <laughs> like probably well Viennese, but yeah. i don't know is there another comedy uh distribution or they're all german well I think there's the, the, there's there's only but, Germany. I mean the the Hohenzoll like some, boss. Some, some some comedians in Austria go to Germany to make their special. Yeah. To, to I mean there's the the, the Hohenzoll boss. He built the. I mean that was a money machine. It was a great investment. Uh, the the globe with Neil Varani and his uh, Shakespeare shows. Okay. Well, that was sort of a. He was the producer and the founder of that. Yeah. That was a real good idea of of taking a, a beloved star, relaunching him as a Shakespeare expert and doing uh, uh, building your own theater mm. for that, which has already the, the Shakespeare name glow built in. That was genius. And of course, the DVD business. And of course, let's get back. And let's be real about the company. Um, They're successful they, for a reason. They too. are successful um, because they do what's necessary. And of course, because they're monopoly, they don't have to do anymore. Yeah. If there would be competition, <laughs> they, they, they already they they are like a basically like somebody who won the World Cup five times in a row, and it's but like it's there are no more enemies. Well, let's but let's <laughs> do the math. I mean, the they produce a thousand copies of a DV, of a movie. That's a minimum run, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. have probably a minimum. And then they have to store. That's a huge amount of space. They have to store. They have to sell. I mean, nobody buys DVDs anymore. Yeah. Oh. So, But you cannot produce less. I mean, there's. I mean, sometimes they oh, release not, the numbers from the, the standard edition. Cow. It's not the golden cash no, card I, it was I, I, in, I don't in think 2005. They, they make their money with, I don't know, 10 titles of 250 their standard edition movies. Probably. That's, that's the one they make yeah. money because they the failure or something like that that will sell at counterfeiters. They will sell very good. I think, but still the movie we have to do on yeah um, FFP. Yeah. So they there there's economic reality, and of course they do it. And but the problem it's available. is it's the sort problem of available. Is, the problem least. is they didn't have to produce that those movies. They are starting off with zero. So yeah. He, so of course they don't they don't have to make the initial investment of making the content. They sort of. I mean, it's the same thing when you when you criticize a company for using public space. Right, I mean, there's a lot of that. Yeah, and you say there's those bike, sh bike, those no new bike companies, for example, that just leave yeah. the bikes on the they on they, the they, they they get criticized for using public space, and we have to clean the the bikes up. We pay for that. And there's other companies who utilize public space. I mean, mm -hmm. car companies, car companies, something like that. So they should be taxed, sort of. And Hohenzoll is not getting taxed. Hohenzoll is actually probably even funded more to provide a service nobody else would provide. The service of making movies we already paid for available for us to buy. Yeah. Which is absurd. And therefore, back to Flimit. We, and we have discussed it prior to the, the recording that um, there should be a, 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 a public access so everybody with their and ID a, or something can get an account. Yeah. And because you paid your taxes and, and like of course, a streaming let's, let's, yeah. let's take a few euros for upkeep. That's fine. And, uh, and have, it, have it part of the GIS. Yeah, just like have that. it part of the gist. I'm more than happy to start paying the gist. And, and <laughs> let's let's not stop with movies. Let's upload the ORF archive completely. Not yeah. only the the the, the so old news shows, old documentation, all the Universum shows, yeah, for right. example. There are probably what 300, 400 Universum shows now, maybe more. I don't know. I mean, of course, there's sort of right a right situation to be. Considered, but there could be yeah, so not, many, not so much all content, content, but there's so much, so much still. That's, that's and the ORF owns like Steintaler and something like that. There's no reason that to not make it available. You will never earn a penny with that anywhere. Or give it to Netflix. You know, sell wholesale. I, that's yeah. another idea. Sell everything to to Netflix and just and earn with the, just the, with the legal promise that they then have to keep it in there for like this many years. Yeah, and, and all and of it worldwide. Yeah. And so that everybody can watch yeah. Austrian movies. Yeah, like, like, like I would, I would think that Netflix would probably do, I don't know, fifty million as a for one, pan, one, pan, one time payment. Yeah. yeah. And here, here's here's your film film funding, public yeah. film. Let's let's fu funnel it back into film. Funding. Make more Something stuff. Like sell that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Instead of have it this vicious cycle of mediocre mostly mediocre films that don't especially not not mediocre i mean on the in the box office because mm. that's yeah. that's a real big problem is 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 rentability with austrian movies we don't have like a like you said like a bully havoc that just makes one 
really sellable movie after another. Yeah. Even internationally sellable in some cases. Not yeah, all well, of them are. The but Bully the Havoc movies made money domestic. I mean, they they were they, everything yes, they were, everything international. Well, domestic Germany and Austria and Switzerland yeah. probably. So German, German speaking yeah. countries. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they. I mean, uh, is is sh this shooters is money to s that expensive? I don't think so. No, but the next one was Traumschiff. Yeah, of course. Traumschiff was, was really expensive. The, and now the, the new Bully stuff. Parade was probably even more. Yes. Yeah. So, so there are some expensive projects, but they all pay for themselves yeah. and many times over. And, and we don't have that in Austria. We don't have a. We don't have a. What's what's his face? Kein Ohrhausen. Uh, Til Schweiger. We don't have a and Til Schweiger, Matthias who's, Schweiger, who's a horrible actor, in my opinion. He can do. Two expressions, <laughs> both of them look pissed off. That's German. No, two no, no. Two expressions. He's he's a very there's, special. There's a there's a line of. He's a German very special German two potato. Ex two expressions. Yeah, but he's 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 very. But he's still every movie he makes. Enough middle-aged women go there to swoon over him to make that money, and we don't have that here. And he probably does not pay his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> he always casts her and does not pay her. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> honey, you just stay in the frame. Yeah, see those lines. It's for you it's, will be famous. It's a, it's for your school project. <laughs> like a, like a, what what was this dementia movie? Honig im Kopf or oh, something. Oh fuck! So that. you 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 force your daughter to play a, such a hard topic movie. Yeah. What? Yeah, 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 that's not good parenting. No, no, no. Till uh, sometimes is no. a bit. I mean, he also played in the Uwe Ball movie Far Cry, which was the. I the, think, that I think was his best the, performance was in Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, because was it was probably. short, it was short, and it was brutal, and that was it. Uh, he was German. He, and he died, so yeah. it was fine. <laughs> And it was actually uh, funny when he was when they were in the in the tavern playing that, that yeah. name game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when, I mean, his ugly face with that posted <laughs> on his forehead. That was I don't know what was the name on it. I don't know, King but that was funny. That yeah. was Tarantino at its best. Oh man, yeah, yeah. There, there's um, there's another uh, sort of streaming service, which I think is a pretty good idea, but it's. A way a little bit too sophisticated. I don't know the name exactly, but it's when you when you go to the web page of a it's called of YouTube. A, <laughs> no, 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 that's not sophisticated at all. Uh, when you go to your favorite cinema's web page, and there is a uh, it's called I think VOD Club. I think okay, and they have a every cinema that's. Uh, part of the of the project has its own subdomain where it's video on demand club dot cinema dot at something like that yeah and you can rent movies there okay and where whatever route you've taken whatever cinema you've crossed first and to, to whichever subdomain yeah. they get some of the money ah. and, and they can also curate a, a selection so the selection is it's the same for everyone you can have the exact same collection with every cinema and it's art house, of course. That's but nice. But every cinema can curate its front page and its recommendations, sort of. Okay. And it's the same. Well, it's, I don't know, f five bucks for eight, 48 hours, something like that. So normal price. Uh -huh. And it's Austrian movies only. Yeah. Um, maybe you will find your subtitles there. Oh, please, God. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and there's, and there's it's also so some... hard. It's, it's, it's yeah. like I'm Moses and I've been in the desert for 30 years now. So like it's not it's not fun. Sometimes I strike a vein and find a few subtitles and then it's dry again for, for a few years. <laughs> it's it's very hard to, to live under this uh, under those conditions. Oh, a subtitled dry spell. Yes. Oh. Yeah, and I think the concept is great, but it's not, of course, it's not making money or anything, but it's there. And it's, of course, way too late <laughs> and way too complicated to have another account to give your your credit card number to another provider, etc. Yeah. Et so it's not that... <clears throat> it's not easy access. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to... I, I've, I've tried it once just for the fun of it, just to try, but I, I don't... I, I just thought of it. I, I don't have it on my mind. Mm. I don't have it on my Amazon Fire stick. I don't have it. Yeah, it's not as easily accessible. Yeah, yeah it's mm. it's just you you go online. 
Yeah, that's the thing with streaming services that I think, especially the ORF, but also in Germany, the RD, ZDF and all those haven't understood yet how convenient that is and how much more power it gives the consumer in choosing what they want to consume. And they still don't get that because they've been trained for 80 years now that it's a sequelized thing and yeah. maybe you can watch it on the internet. You know, that's basically the mindset that it has been and I can't fault them too much for it because it has been ingrained in their DNA forever and so suddenly you have a seismic si shift in yeah. how, how you conduct your delivery of content. Like it, it is after we've had theater for a gazillion years we started doing uh, cinemas and people were like, so it's theater, but on a screen <laughs> for the longest time. Yes. And then they were like, oh, this is something different. This shouldn't look like a theater piece. This should look like its own thing. You know, it took a while and slowly but surely they, they fucking see it in the, there was the, the most recent consumer report came out in Austria about how Austrians consume their media mm -hmm. and the 25 to 39 thing already has, I think, over 33% don't watch TV anymore. Yeah. It's watch, all old people it's, now. It's yeah. all old people. 39 I mean, plus. Linear like, television, especially. Yeah. yeah. Also, the uh, cinema goer is getting older and older. And and you see that in the movies. I mean, there's a lot of geriatric movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You mean the 100 year old? Nah, guy I mean, that yeah. Stepped and, out the window and, 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 and everything vanished. with Judy Dench and, yep. and Meryl, Meryl Streep. And, nah, well, not Meryl Streep, but that best exotic Mary gold hotel for old friends go off to have a last adventure uh, bucket list with yes with morgan freeman yes, uh, yes that uh, kind of movies that's that's the red pack or what was yeah, it the, 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 then even the action stars form their own old guy like yeah. the expendables and I love, red love that love yeah, both of those but that's that's also the symptom of the same sort of that's not a disease it's just the the <laughs> catering to an the audience disease is age catering to the audience <laughs> that is old it's getting older right yeah. and, and the other group this that is the, <laughs> this is is the, the <laughs> Age is the disease and I'm the cure. Ah. That's, a great, that's a great Arnie expression. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and the, the other group that goes to the cinema regularly are young men. So that's the other reason for... Nerds! The you ner mean. <laughs> that's the reason for the same comic yeah. book movie make, made over and over and over again. I mean, three Spider-Mans in my lifetime and I'm No, no, 30. three different, you mean. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah, and they... At seven... No, it's gonna be four seven now. movies. It's gonna be four now with uh, Into the Spider-Wars. Oh, the fuck. What? Sony is making another Spider-Man. It's Into the Spider-Wars. It's with the Morales, with the black Spider-Man. Can somebody please hack them again? And <laughs> just delete their servers. <laughs> just Sony, delete Sony, them. Sony is really putting their hands oh. in the toilet recently. Well, recently. The last 15 years. Yeah. Let's not get into the who company... Which company is... The baddest at being, or the Weinstein. best at being bad. Weinstein, definitely. <laughs> yeah, of course, okay. <laughs> worst company, <laughs> worst movie company. Already out of the running. Yeah, in a while. <laughs> well, but their movies were good. They, they knew their business. Sort of. I can separate. What does, what I does can separate say? the producer from his produce from his, his produce content, yeah. from his vegetables. No, from his work. Um, no, he they 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 were fairly successful, and of course they did. They they also. Produced a lot of mid-budget, yeah, um, 10, 20 million geriatric pieces like uh, uh, Best Exotic Miracle Hotel yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that. Those, I don't know if that's those, exactly, yeah. but uh, I think maybe maybe did it start with You've Got Mail? I don't know where it started. It's with just... with the old people banging, I think that was that. I think it was that where 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 she tries to fuck. I mean, um, there. Jack Nicholson has played these old guy movies uh, when, for a while when he was now. active. For a while when he now. was active. Yeah. I mean he's he's retired now, right? But he is the last thing was uh, Departed, I think. Was his last movie. I think. That was that was that. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So he I mean going he, out no, on a he's, Scorsese he's, he's, he's high note. He's retired. I he's definitely retired. Uh, but I about Schmidt, as good as it gets, I mean that. Yeah. I mean these movies, they are, they are all. He's the old guy, the grumpy old man. That was probably that started it, sort yeah. of. But I don't know. It's more the the the, the all all of the stars. They're still bankable. I mean, Maggie Smith is just the best, and she, 
she's, she's pretty she's great. She's eighty five or something like that, and she's the, playing the she's lady in the. Now? I don't know the lady in the van where she lives in a van. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're going we're going into we're, awesome. we're, we're going into the, the American corner now. Um, but I, I wanted one. Or Brit- Brit- British. Jack yeah. Nicholson is not British. Yeah, but Maggie Smith. Yeah, Ma- Maggie Smith is, yes. I wanted to touch on one last subject because we, we already talked a, l- a lot about digital streaming and all that stuff and how Austria waited too long <laughs> in general. Like, what, what do you think? Is there a chance for like something like a YouTube or a Vimeo that even if it's on those platforms to have like a, a proper Austrian scene, you think? Like small filmmakers, animators, stuff like that, that put their content on that instead of shopping it out to the ORF in the future or, or Servus TV or Ö24 or Pulsio I mean, or there ATV. Is, there is a sort of independent, if you want to call it that, no budget scene that's yes. good, that's how, that, that ha- produces a fairly good quality and and that's really um i mean that's expensive hobbies essentially mm-hmm. and there's there if you want to go into that and if you want to be the the big um sort of connector and want to if you want to put up a platform and give these people a free platform um they will probably come and you will probably can you can make some you, you will not make money but you could probably have a, a sort of a i don't know what's a mitzin in english someone who's funding art oh yeah you big, have big patrons rich, patron sort of a patronage of austrian independent film if you if you want to that's but that's i mean you could give the money somewhere else it's just a hobby or or something you want to you want to fund and you want to you want to do and then you, you could probably start something and if you really really put a lot of effort into it you could do that but i don't think that the main uh, the, sort of non-independent the uh, mainstream the, stuff yeah. those who earn their living by producing movies and tv they have a source and as long as the source doesn't dry up Which, it's they will they will keep on doing the same thing over I mean, and over again there's no and there's, there's a literal clock on it now that old people are dying so <laughs> th- that's one thing that there's another there's i mean there is there's a huge societal backslash to everything every criticism towards the orf and yeah. that has something to do with that filmmakers and actors they're fairly vocal they're fairly they're really active mm-hmm. they're really get into activist mode and say, well, you cannot attack the ORF and it's so important for society. Yes, it's important for your paycheck. Yeah. This is complete for the most of it. I mean, I mean it does have this its breakout survival. moment. It this is survival. The ORF, ha- the ORF ha- has its breakout moments. I mean, in the 50s with Herr Kai, for example, yeah, where they co- got so much flack from everybody there's a sometimes they, sometimes they, can they do have, that but yeah it's not it's that's not that's not a discussion that's not a that's history that's ancient history right now the the orf is under sort of attack yeah and you can you can categorize it as attack from right-wing parties to to destabilize or to crush or whatever the to the orf who has been especially its journalistic department sort of left-leaning and of course you want to correct and or neutralize that yeah from which is totally understandable from a right-wing perspective and on the other hand you have this huge machine of production that has nothing to do with journalism but will be the cat the, the the innocent well not innocent but the casualty of that definitely uh, the, a spy the, the, standard the, yeah. if you fund the orf from the budget if you if you cut funding etc et they will um suffer. they will suffer they uh, within the, the journalists have more have more sort of a, a, a standing and 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 the the actors and directors and filmmakers they see that they will be chopped mm. so they argue on behalf publicly on behalf of the journalists yeah not because they want it they like the journalists or they think that journalism is important or something because they know they can think two steps ahead which i give them total credit for they can think st- ten, two steps ahead if funding gets slashed then it will not be the news that gets slashed well Two, but not in that to that amount. Mm. Shows will yeah. get slashed. Where the, the sports events, yeah. syndication stuff, yeah, TV shows. Yeah, there, there won't be ten schnell mittel episodes. There will be five. If, well, if or if schnell mittel, then yeah. then, it's, oh, then it's done. Mm. Something like that. And there will be there won't be a TV show until 
until I don't know the next government. There will has be been no Kling in this Österreich. <laughs> no Kling in this Österreich. <laughs> But you, you get you get the point, right? I mean, yeah, yeah is, no, no, yeah, yeah, sort of. And they don't. You could you could say, well, if you're under threat, that your lively if your livelihood is threatened, yeah, you can say that we are at the brink of fascism again, mm -hmm. which is certainly not true. Or you could say that you find some other way of making your money by investing by doing it yourself by finding public funding whatever and uh, not not public uh private funding, funding yeah so there, there's no investors, there's yeah. no there's no way and there's no idea of doing that and flimit could be could be an act an, an actor as a, as a player in that game there's there's a lot of little entities that should be connected there's no but there's no big picture right there's a little flimit is a good yeah. idea there's a, an app um, I've probably told you about for people who are hearing impaired or oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, there's two apps. Stuff. Yeah, so that's good there's stuff. a lot of offerings that so, sort of exist in the in the publicly funded sphere and there's there's but there's no no connector, there's no there, there should be a, a, a someone who's really thinking forward, who has, has sort put some money into it yeah. and who really invests well, a master in, plan. Yeah. yeah, and probably they should get together and and the, but the master plan cannot be that the public guarantees your salary. I mean, as a filmmaker, and mm. a lot of filmmakers feel entitled to their to their. And yeah. the, the other thing is the, the 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 copyright discussion, right? I mean, that affects the filmmakers as well. That I mean, it's so hard. And but on the other hand, there is um, the, the the producer of a movie. I, I fund it. We fund yeah. it. Ninety five percent money is from us taxpayers, and they have all the rights. Which was, yeah. uh, I mean, this is they have and they don't do anything with it. And you can also argue you're not doing the fiscally responsive thing with the with the movie we produced we mm -hmm. financed yeah we should Syndicate take it, them we should take it away from you but that's not possible because there's rights attached and the producers the directors they have rights which of course got them actors and their rights yeah no i mean <laughs> they're not even and, human and then they're they're, they're not available but yeah. if, if the your point it, it it sounds funny but your point of why is there no uh, a subtitle uh file yeah I mean, this is this is the thing the public should ask for. We financed it, and we want everyone to understand it. Yeah. We want the the broadest. I mean, we want an international. Dubbing is expensive. It's not that expensive, but it is sort of expensive. So let's not dub, but make subtitles in. Yeah, do it like the in French the 20th, do. In the twenty. The French do it. The French sub yeah. sub nearly everything. The 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 British sub everything for the for the french if they have co-productions or like the swedish where they have a shit ton of content that they shop out to to bbc and stuff like that yeah. and they just buy everything with subtitles like why can't we do that like why don't yeah. we have a broad judge why don't we have like a, a, a like an oslo crime drama that <laughs> everybody watches for some reason why 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 don't we have like a Uh, a mountain drama uh, sequel like we could make well, that's uh, not that's not depending make, on the subtitles, we could right? make a sound of music tv show now yeah 12 episodes and it would sell gangbusters internationally yeah no there has been a, a sequel prequel whatever movie that's it's old enough you can make it into a tv show it's old yeah, enough that, but now that the movie was was I'm, i mean two years ago or something like that oh really yeah the, the, the family trap or something like that oh uh, i, I angus walked into McFadden. that trap <laughs> yeah you walked in the, it is with angus mcfaden and whoa okay yeah i mean they got someone fairly internationally relevant and sort of i don't know it was there was also privately produced by the way which mm -hmm. circle back to trekina blood that was not produced by uh service tv but it was produced by atv when it was still owned ah. by the by the uh austrian Herr Kleuber, Helmut Kleuber, I think. Yeah, Herbert one of Herbert those conglomerate, conglomerate yeah. who, he, who, who is a, who is a, he, uh, who has a lot of film rights. Uh, he owns, he makes his money owning rights, and he bought the ATV station to send to to broadcast his movies, ah, and he produced okay. that movie. Okay, and he wanted funding. That was funny. They didn't get a lot of funding, which was great, but he didn't anyway. <laughs> so privately, I like the movie already because it's. <laughs> I like the movie already. <laughs> 
<laughs> I haven't seen it. I know of it existed. But, but, but I heard the funding is great on this one. <laughs> the funding is great because it, it, non-existent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's 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 awesome because they haven't got a penny. Well, <laughs> I mean, you probably guessed it, but I have a certain libertarian yeah uh, viewpoint on that. Yeah. So the government and the, the, the state should get out of it for or not should not should should uh, uh, realign have good reasons and yeah. i don't see the reasons and that's the the problem and that's my my focus my yeah my they should realign what they what they are doing they, they yeah. should, keep, should keep doing things some of them what they are doing are correct and fine yes. but realign them to the 21st century but if you do if you do and you have great you have huge protest i mean you see at the orf the orf there's so it's just drama. there's there's so there's a lot to repair but you cannot start because every suggestion you make is is getting seen shut down as, is seen as an attack mm, and yeah. if the suggestion even the freedom party or any can any other right wing not a uh, sort of leftish party any suggestions they make however if the even if, if they're good even and if productive, they're good yeah. and productive product uh, they they cannot they they're so they're so hard the positions yep. and everybody stands and will not move and so i think it, somewhere someone sometime the money will just run out we will register that the 70 million we use for film funding which is nothing is not there anymore and we have to use it for uh the important things that uh, like orphanages or whatever i mean <laughs> yeah there, there are there are other ways to spend that yeah, money that, yeah to, to to actual people and with with where where you see where the money actually buys something and not some artistic societal reason that films are important or films are have have a an impact on society Wh yeah. which was the last film you think had an impact on society yeah i think that's a good point to stop because this is a very interesting subject on which we should talk more of in the future yes please but i think we have done a good deed of <laughs> presenting the current state of 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 austrian tv shows and movies I could go on, but yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, I have a gig tonight, so of course, yeah. Harry, where can people find you? Uh, links will be in the description yeah. below, of course. But where can people find you? Bruttofilmlandsprodukt.net, net. -E I wanted to use Netto, but it wasn't available then. Ah, too bad. At, at the time, it wasn't yeah, available. Now it's available. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> Twitter at Harry Lee, Harry with one R and I, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, that's it. And I have another project in the making, something podcast related, also nice. a podcast. And uh, that's, yeah, well. Yeah, give him some soon, love. Soon more to that. And maybe we can talk about uh, that another time. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here, man. And see you the next time, guys. Bye.